that's the best thing that you can do. Like, that's probably the most valuable part of this video. You, let's say you've just finished university or let's say you've just finished school and you're dreading, absolutely dreading a nine to five job. You know it's not for you. You know you're meant for more. You want to work for yourself. But the problem is you don't have enough experience or enough cash in order to sort of invest in your own business. However, this business model that I'm going to talk you through today on exactly how to start earning your own money doesn't require any cash up front. And not only this, but it allows you to be able to travel, reduce your working hours, like work online, scale your income beyond what you could ever do in a nine to five job. Hey everyone, my name is Bill J. Clark. And first of all, I'm gonna thank you for liking and subscribing, which I know you've already done by now. And in today's video, I wanna share with you the exact blueprint that you need in order to build a social media marketing agency to the point where you can travel, work online, scale your income, build that life of freedom that I know you want. I started my agency back in 2018. I dropped out of university in order to start it. And right now I'm in a villa in Thailand. I work around three or four hours a day. I have plenty of time to go to the gym, work on myself, hang out with mates, just enjoy being in the paradise that I am in. And by the end of today's video, you'll have the exact steps. You'll know exactly what you need to do in order to go out, get your first few clients, start generating an extra few thousand pounds a month in income that is going to allow you to live the exact same life that you go to bed thinking about. Being able to travel, work from Bali, Thailand, Colombia, Mexico, wherever you want. You can travel, you can reduce your working hours so you can actually enjoy these places. Getting your first paying client as a beginner is an absolutely life-changing moment. Whether you're in an overdraft that you've been trying years to get out of, or whether you're just struggling to pay bills this month, or maybe you're wanting to go on holiday with your partner, but you just, you haven't got the spare cash. Getting that first paying client not only solidifies your belief in yourself, but you can also, you have more freedom. You can go on that holiday, you can pay off that debt. And even more powerful than this, you prove to yourself that you can do this once. And if you can do this once, you can do this again and again and again and again. And your income is just going like this. It's just soaring. Look, whatever you're wanting to achieve with your social media marketing agency, whether you're wanting to travel the world or just have a bit of side income or just upgrade your standard of living. And if you follow these fundamental steps that I talk you through in today's video, then you will be able to do this. Let's start off with the business model. So a social media marketing agency, as an agency owner, what you do to start off with as a beginner is you go out, you find clients, you get them on a sales call, you discuss how to work together and they sign with you and on a monthly fee, you will provide them with social media marketing services. So where you start off with, you start off with doing outreach. This involves sending outbound messages to potential clients. You start talking a bit, you set up a sales meeting, you discuss the gaps in their marketing, how you can fill, fulfill them, how you can help take their business from here to here. Everything like this, you have to understand your client's position in this meeting. From then you decide on a monthly retainer fee. This is how much you get paid every month and a specific list of the services, the deliverables that you will be giving in return for that money. Now, once you are delivering this service, you're providing really high quality like service to this business, you're just rinsing and repeating. You're constantly doing outbound messages. You're constantly setting up new sales meetings. And that's how you grow. You grow with your client base. You get more clients, you get more income, more experience, and it just grows like that. Look, you don't need offices. You don't need employees. Like I literally work from either here, this, this chair, or I'll work from a coffee shop or a beach bar or a co-working space. The beauty of this business model is that there are very, very low overheads. So no employees, no rent, no bills, none of this, which means that you keep so much of the money that you charge in those retainer fees to your clients. Like right now I operate at around 85 to 90% profit margins, which is unheard of in so many different industries. Now let's move on to the services that you offer. There are a lot of sub-services when it comes to social media marketing, like video creation, content creation, paid traffic. What I recommend as a beginner is that you encompass a lot of these in your offer to your first few clients. Now the reason for this, and I know a lot of people say, 
you pick one service for one niche. I'm gonna go completely against that in this video and I'm gonna explain why. The reason I keep a lot of services, or I recommend keeping a lot of services to beginners is because what you are going to do over time is streamline that offer. So you're going to start off by offering quite a lot and then as you as your experience grows, as you see the results that you get for your clients, you will see, oh, this part of the offer isn't actually adding much value to my client. It's just wasting my time, really. So you take that out. The idea is that you're always evolving your service. You're making it more valuable through understanding that 20% of the work that you do will lead to 80% of the results that your client gets. Now, that's Pareto's law. So you're trying to find that 20% when you start off with a big range of services. Now, what you might find if you just choose one service for one niche is that they don't want that one service or that service doesn't work well in that niche. What you do when you have a large collective of services, I guess you could say, is you have much more chance of creating a much more valuable offer. And a much more valuable offer means that you can charge more per client, which means your income grows a lot faster. The next point, and I think this is a very overcomplicated subject in the social media marketing industry. So a lot of people say like, the importance of picking a niche. Now, I do agree with this, but for beginners, getting your first few clients, don't even think about a niche. I know people are saying one service, one niche, but just think about this. If you are going into a niche with zero experience, it's so much more difficult to do that than if you were going to what I recommend, which is local businesses, because these are very easy to get results for. They're very easy to contact and they're very easy to sell. So what I recommend to all beginners is to target local businesses because I've, spent, I've messaged so many people who are struggling. Like I get DMs on a daily basis of people who are starting or trying to start a social media marketing agency. And they're just struggling so much to pick a niche. What I say to them is just like, just forget that. Take imperfect action. Like I know you haven't decided everything yet, but that's the point. You don't decide everything before you act. You act and then you learn on the way. That's the best thing that you can do. Like that's probably the most valuable part of this video. You act first and you learn along the way. Now, whilst you're working with local businesses, you'll be gaining experience in terms of sales, outreach, fulfilling the service, everything like this, you will start to refine your offer. And once you have that, as, as well as your case studies and portfolio of the work that you've done, the success that you've had with your clients, then you pick a niche. Because going into a niche when you don't have any experience or case studies is very difficult. Now, what you do when you're working with local businesses, you have a range of local businesses that you work with. And picking your niche will either come from you are just happening to attract a certain level or a certain type of client, or maybe you get fantastic results for a certain industry of these local businesses. That's how you choose it. You don't just go in and choose it without any experience. You've just got to realize that you have to do the work for a range of businesses, see which industry you work really well in, and then go with that. I don't go with that 100% personally. I've always had about a 70 to 80% niche so what this means is about 70 to 80% of my clients are in one niche and then the rest of them are for a range. I highly recommend this because you might not be in that niche forever and you don't want to close all doors. You want to always be working in a few other industries at the same time. Now the benefit of this is because if you're dabbling in different industries, you might find that, oh, I'm actually getting a lot more success in this industry. Like I'm working with car dealerships, but for construction companies, They've got a lot more money and they're a lot happier to charge a lot more money and they're much easier to get results for. So now I'm going to flip and start working with more construction companies. Now, if you were just working with car dealerships, you would have no idea. And this is goes back to the imperfect action. You've got to act like you just go into that industry, just start getting results for people. And then you adapt Then you think, right, this is a pivot point for my agency. I'm going to go down this road for a bit now. So this moves on to where to find these clients. Now you've got local businesses. Now the best way to find these, I believe, are Facebook groups. Local business Facebook groups are very, they're just filled with local business owners. What you do is you go into those groups, you start posting content in there, like valuable stuff that they can take action on. Pardon me. You start conversations with them, you start setting up sales calls. 
And that's a very powerful way of just generating the first few inquiries. Again, another benefit of local businesses is that you can physically go to see them. You can go sit across a desk from them and they value that so much more than someone emailing them from behind the screen or like just a Zoom call. If you can physically go in and say, look, I've lived in this area all my life. I've come to your restaurant a few times with my family. I love it here. I really think I can help you with your social media. I'd love to come down sometime and talk it, talk it through. If you are just hitting them with that rather than um, because these guys get emailed 20 times a day, you've got to understand that these people are being emailed 20 times a day of people who can help with their marketing, help with their SEO, help with their website. But if you go in there and say, look, I will come down to your restaurant with, with ideas, quick 30 minute chat. I'd love to go through this with you sometime when you're free. That is how you're going to stand out from the 20 or 30 other emails that they're getting every single day. Now you're at the point where you've set a meeting, you've gone onto the Facebook groups, you've had a chat with some of the business owners and you've got some meetings set up. Now what do you do? What do you do in that meeting? So the main things to talk about are what that client is doing currently for their marketing, what they've done in the past, where they'd like to be in terms of their revenue, what sort of budget they have, what gaps they have in their market that you can fill. Now this is a very important concept particularly as a beginner for a social media marketing agency, what you need to be doing is filling the gaps in their marketing. Don't go in there saying, oh, this is shit, this is shit, you're doing that wrong. Go in and saying, hey, look, um, I see you're doing this. I'd love to help in these areas. I think we can really boost your customer level. We can increase your revenue per customer. If you go in with all these ideas, then they're gonna be like, yeah, this guy's looked into our business, this guy has like done his research, he knows what he's talking about and he's come with a plan, let's go straight onto it. Now one thing to watch out for is when you are talking to clients, whether that's on Facebook, Instagram, email, and they say, oh, just send over a proposal. Now, most of the time when they say this, they're not really gonna read it. They're just trying to blow you off. Now, what you should always aim to do is aim for a meeting. Because think about it, you are creating a custom, a tailored marketing strategy for these clients. You can't do that without actually having a meeting and finding out all this information from these potential clients. So you always have to aim for that meeting because sending over a, like a template proposal, it isn't going to do any good. So as a beginner, your key, your key goal is to set up and take as many meetings as possible. Sales is a whole other beast in itself, but here is the main thing that you have to consider when you're in these meetings. Sales is about helping the potential client come to a decision for what's best for them. Now you will have meetings, I've had meetings where we chat and you sort of find out that, yeah, this wouldn't really work out for some reason or another. Like they're either asking way too much or they just they still haven't figured out their business plan yet it's very difficult because when you go to a business that's very early on in its like life stage i guess then it's very difficult to market something that isn't solid if it hasn't got like a proven revenue stream then it's very difficult to market when it's still figuring that out so in sales you have to let them figure out whether this is a good decision or not you propose your services, you talk about what they're struggling with, how your services help achieve their goals, and then you let them figure it out for themselves. The key here is letting them figure it out. You need to not be in this scarcity mindset of like, oh, I need this sale. Because whether you, when you're constantly doing the outreach, which you should be, then you're always having new meetings being set every single week. So never go into a meeting thinking, oh, I really need this, because the potential client will smell that from you. And firstly, they will either kick you to one side because they're like, oh, this guy's desperate. He's obviously not good at what he does. Or they will haggle you down. Now, this has happened to me when I was first starting. I really, I was absolutely skinned. I needed the money. And I got haggled down so much, like to less than half of what I initially went in with. And I went with it. It was so much work for fuck all money. And I did it. The client was a dick. And I did it just because I needed the money. You don't want to be in this position and you don't get into this position if you are constantly doing your outreach and constantly generating new leads into your pipeline. But let's talk about getting paid the cash monies, the good bit. So what you want to do is, first of all, always get paid upfront. You never want to be in a position where you do like a month's marketing, 
and then you invoice them because then they'll be just you'll just be chasing up money and it'll just be this awful situation that you have always get paid up front secondly what you want to do is because marketing takes quite a while to get results always start off with a three month minimum what i do is i offer a three month minimum and if they pay for the three months up front they get 10 percent off now in terms of your pricing this is quite, quite a difficult one because where do you start with your pricing if you're offering like a typical social media marketing service where you take care of all their social media analytics reporting then i just i say start at 500 pounds a month because as a beginner this is a great level for you to get in because 500 pounds a month is a nice extra bit of money but also it's not a huge amount like you're not charging 2k a month to start off with because you're not going to get away with those prices if you don't have case studies or experience just remember that your prices like your service will always be evolving like every month or so you will be upping your prices because you aren't getting experience getting new case studies you're getting you're providing more value because you're just getting better at what you do so the returns that your clients are getting are going up so obviously because of that, your service fee should go up because you're offering a much more valuable service, whether that's the social ROI, like more likes, more followers, etc., or monetary ROI, so more revenue coming in. Next, delivering on your promise. So you've been paid. Now it's time to deliver what you promised. So what I always do is I have a kickoff call with new clients. What this involves is it's basically setting expectations. So you talk about what is, is included and what isn't included in your service along with like quite a few other things but you want to outline what isn't isn't what is and isn't included in your service because i've had it in the past where like i've said yeah we'll do social media marketing and stuff and they're like like a couple of weeks in they're like oh um how's the seo doing i'm sorry how's the seo doing no i'm not doing your seo but they thought i was doing their seo because they just didn't really understand and it was my fault like i didn't clearly outline what was what i would or would not be doing for them so what you want to do in a kickoff call or even on the sales call is to outline specifically the deliverables that you will be giving them as well as what you're not giving them because this like like eliminates any potential situation in the future where they're going to be like oh well what about this why have, why isn't this worked because i'm not actually doing it all right so in sales calls kickoff calls proposals you're going to outline very clearly what you are and are not going to be doing for this client now in terms of learning social media marketing i recommend youtube find a course on udemy just always be sharpening your sword which just means you're getting better at your skills are improving etc you should always be becoming more valuable as a marketer because the more value you can offer, the more money you can charge, the more money you earn, etc. So you always want to be working on your skills. And that's pretty much a walkthrough of the business model all the way to delivering your service. And you're just rinsing and repeating that. You're just going to be you're going to be doing outreach. You're going to be setting up meetings, taking meetings delivering your service, just constantly winding this. And as you're doing this, you're going to be looking at every aspect of your service, like the business model, the service, the offer, all of this sort of stuff, like outreach messages, all of this stuff you're going to be looking at and optimizing over time. Think of your agency like a machine. It's got so many different cogs and you're trying to make each one more efficient. You're always looking to improve every single aspect of your agency and maximize your time. I hope this has been valuable to you. I hope you've understood everything here. If you would like an exact blueprint on how to start an online business, not only how to start it, but everything that you need in order to build your dream lifestyle and move to Thailand like where I am right now, where I run my online business, then join my course, First Steps to Freedom. The link's below. You're gonna get a ton of value. You're gonna learn everything that I've covered here in more depth, outreach messages, how to handle sales calls, how to create an irresistible offer that people cannot say no to. All of this stuff that I've walked you through today on a deeper level, you're gonna have structures, you're gonna have trackers on how to keep accountable. So click the link below, get joining, and I will see you soon.